Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a powerful typographic poster from a photo. Open a photo of someone. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. We'll crop the photo so it's close around the face. To do this, open your crop tool and delete the amounts in the width and height so they're empty. I'll make the resolution 150 pixels per inch, but feel free to change this amount. Keep in mind, the higher the resolution, the bigger your file will be. Drag each edge of your crop boundaries so it fits snugly around the face. Then, click the check mark at the top. To fit your image back onto the canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. Click the lock icon to unlock the layer, and then click the eyeball icon to hide the layer. Control click or Command click the new layer icon to make a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill the empty layer with black, but first, if your foreground and background colors aren't black and white, press D on your keyboard. Invert the colors by pressing X. Since black is your background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a heavy font. I'm using a font called 10.124. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in my video's description or project files. I'll make its size temporarily 200 points, sharp, and left alignment. Click on your document and type out your first word. If it's a long word, type out just the first one or two syllables. To resize and reposition it, click your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Drag the transform near the upper left corner of your document. Go to the lower right corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, drag it to the right and reposition it. Then press Enter or Return. Press T to open back your type tool. Click on your document and type out your next word. Again, if it's too long, just type the first syllable. As before, click your Move tool and open your Transform tool. Drag it below your top text and drag it to the right. Align its right and left sides to the sides of the top text and move it close to the bottom of the top text. Continue these steps to complete your text. To save space in the Layers panel, let's place all the text into a folder. To do this, shift-click on the bottom text layer to make all the text layers active. Press Ctrl or Command G. Open the Channels panel and click the small circular icon at the bottom to make a selection of all your text. Open back your Layers panel and hide the folder. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with white and deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Open your Paint Bucket tool. Make the tolerance approximately 32 pixels and make sure contiguous is checked. Click the foreground color and pick a bright color for the first few characters. Then click OK. Click a few of your characters to fill them with the color. If we didn't check contiguous, our entire document would fill with the color. For the next group of characters, click the foreground color again and pick another bright color. Continue these steps to fill all the characters with bright colors. Make your subject visible and active. Change its blend mode to hard light. Presently, the subject is not only showing through your text, it's also showing on the background. 
We want your subject to show only through the text and not on the background. To do this, we need to make the subject layer into a clipping mask, which will clip it to the text under it. Press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command Option-G on a Mac. If you want to lighten dark areas of your subject, open your Dodge tool and make your foreground color white by pressing D on your keyboard and then X to invert them. Click Midtones. Make the exposure 40 to 50 percent and uncheck Protect Tones. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key. Brush over areas of your subject that you'd like to lighten a bit. Next, I'll show you how to quickly adjust your colors into a subtle analogous color palette. Make your text layer active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click Hue Saturation and check Colorize. Drag the saturation all the way to the right and drag the hue to a color you like. You can always change it later if you want. Reduce its opacity to a percentage that shows just enough of the original colors. To quickly change your poster's background to white, scroll to your background, make it active, and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with the foreground color. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.